I gotta put you guys in my pocket for a second. Maybe not. Okay, we're clear. Ooh, we're good now. We can get out of here. Oh, wait. Okay, so there is a no trespassing sign, so. I didn't see that one until I got back in. There's a necklace here. Interesting. Yeah, I did not see that until I got back in, so. It... Well, that's the last time I'm probably doing that anyway, so. very easy to do even after like knowing what happened like no we know what happened there obviously but even afterwards that was no one saw me no one said anything but this is why i was kind of thinking that richard allen was parked here because you saw how easy that was right there you could park right there get out and nobody knows but there's not a none of his cars are on camera i don't think but this is the route i I think that he would have taken, but I'm not gonna do the exact walk that the affidavit states because I'd have to be over there and, and Ron Logan or whoever it is now, their backyard. So, like I said before, I don't wanna harass people or, or like, you know, family members or witnesses or anything like that. And I try not to, not to touch anybody's stuff. Um, I know we did walk out on the bridge yesterday, but I thought that was harmless in my opinion. Yeah, they're burning something. Somebody lives there doing something. Anybody with like knowledge of farms, tell me what they're doing. Cause I've, that's, they, that was there yesterday too. And the barn's open, so somebody's obviously, must be like a family member or something. But yeah, we're gonna walk back. We're gonna take the walk the, well, for the most part, that the affidavit says that he took. I, it's, it's gotta be the cemetery. It has to be. Because RTV6 has the bodies being found back there, but the picture that they, they use for the crime scene is that. So I don't believe that he walked all this, but no one else, there's houses back there. No one else in the house has reported seeing him. He had to have walked out of the cemetery. I don't think anybody can tell me can 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 convince me otherwise really. The mirrors. A lot of the last names in this town it's like it's like I don't know people from Martinsville if you're on here like the Spinas and all the you know famous Martinsville last names. Not that it's like any not any important but Delphi definitely has them. <laughs> I've seen the name Mears everywhere and then Shockley's. So anyway, the last person to see Richard Allen on this February 13th was uh, someone driving past this road. She saw him walking up the road and said it looked like he'd been in a fight, covered in mud and looked bloody. So, and then there's the harvest, or there's the Hoosier Harvest store, the blue, big blue building with all the little garage doors on it. That's where she drove past. But the, like I said, he's not on camera walking past. And if it's catching people drive by, it's sure as hell catching people who are walking. So he had to have went around or or something. Maybe went through the woods back onto the onto the trail. But I guess he wasn't seen on the trail after that. I don't know. Hopefully that gets filled in. I guess that wouldn't get filled in unless he had finally admitted it, but it's interesting for sure. Man, really? You don't... I don't see any fencing over there. You can just walk back there that way. Maybe he came out through there. I don't know. Like I said, I don't... Speculating is pointless. There's, we don't know. Like, 
it's interesting to talk about, yeah. For journalism purposes, I don't do it, but this case is a little different, so it is interesting. It's a little bit of, but people are, who are on the Facebook group are saying he's walking along a, a well-traveled road and only one person saw him. As you can see, this is not a well-traveled road at all. They're lucky, they're lucky that one person happened to be come through and see him. Good thing it's not windy out because uh, that'll make the audio useless. I may as well not even make a video if it's windy. Because I got a mic on the top of my... I didn't bring the real cameras today. I have a... I have a two-door car, so if I have to bring anything, I try not to. Like, there's nothing official going on here today, so I don't have any gear. I have a Mustang, so kind of hard to fit stuff in there. Like, bags and stuff, so I try to travel light, especially for, you know, for that. If I had an actual camera with me for that, oh my god. I'd probably ruin the camera. Those definitely aren't cheap either, <laughs> so... He walked all this way. And it was like this. Flat, it was February. No, the corn's not, you're exposed like crazy. So I don't know how no one else didn't see it. Maybe even these people. He had to have maybe cut back through. Yeah, I don't know, that one baffles me. But it's cool that they're fixing up the bridge. I'll actually walk across it probably. Because there was no way I was doing it originally. I don't know if you guys have ever been out there. There was gaping holes in it and one wrong move and you're... I mean, there was like an under, like an undercarriage to it, obviously. But I mean, if you fell in the wrong spot, you're hitting your head on a, on a metal beam and falling in the creek. Probably dying because it's like 60 feet. So that's why I didn't do it. My brother did it twice, back and forth. Yeah, see, those are the trucks for the... So they're parking out here and going back. That's how they're doing that. I'm like, how the hell are they getting trucks back there? So they're parking here and going back. So they're using the mirrors for their crane and stuff. To store it or whatever that is. Not crane, but... At least that's what it looks like. Because I'm pretty sure that white truck is the truck I saw by the bridge. I'm a lot cleaner than I thought I would be doing that. Now my shoes are kind of muddied up. But no, this is allegedly the route that he took because... The last witness at like, what was it? Anybody know? 3.45, 3.30 maybe she saw him. But I'm thoroughly convinced that he just walked right up and climbed and went to the cemetery and walked right out because you saw how easy that was. We went from the crime scene to the cemetery in like two and a half minutes, maybe three. Maybe a little bit longer than that. I don't know, I didn't really count. It felt like two or three minutes. We were right there. Two hour drive back to Bloomington and that's it. We're done here. See, one car has a car coming to my right. So if anybody ever tells you that this is a, a well-traveled road, don't believe them. One truck. 
That'll probably be all we, that will probably probably be all we see. I don't think I'm gonna actually walk past the storage units. I'll zoom in on them. You can see the camera probably. But that big blue building behind the barn, or the red barn here. So that is a barn, that's a weird looking it's got like a garage underneath. That's, that's actually pretty cool. But the mirrors. This is where Kelsey dropped off Libby and Abby. Right here at this gate. And they, like I said, uh, in my live streams, you can cut out 50% of that walk. So that explains how they're... So they're driving right back there and doing that. I was wondering how the hell are you getting equipment back there. But it makes sense. Because that goes right toward the bridge. And there's the trail but yeah there's the storage units i walked too far but i don't know if you can see the cameras or not there's cameras that are facing out on this road and whenever you go around that corner you're on camera richard allen is not on camera you know we actually know what we can walk we will go no no that's the car coming I'm going to get off the road, actually. But yeah, if, if Richard Allen, if he parked at the CPS building, he had to have come back this way. Because I don't think he was on, he was never seen on the trail again. So, he walked all this way back. Because this, I'll show you guys where this, uh, where it used to be. It doesn't exist anymore. A ways up here so like I said uh, before a lot of people will say I don't believe he walked all that way it's a it's a pretty well-traveled road but it's really not this is my fourth time walking this road I think and I've seen the only two cars I've seen were in my last video so I'll come out here and not see any cars at all But I mean, that's also like a, you're covered in blood, as a person said, if they're telling the truth, that's, and they're walking this way, that's pretty risky. But we'll at least come up on the, <laughs> on the storage units. I'm coming up on it now, this blue building up here on the right, that is the harvest store. And you can see the camera, I don't want to, I don't want to be like. Their security guy watching some dude point a point a phone at their cameras, but you can I don't know if you can see it. I can kind of see it. It's just above that that blue dumpster. That is the camera. That the affidavit talks about that got all the cars on the or however i can't remember how many cars it's been a minute since i've read the affidavit but here's my beef with him parking at the at the cps building as you can see that camera's right there and he's not seeing unless they're high like not talking about it so he either walked all the way around or maybe like Let's see what's over here. If this is it, okay. So he didn't do he didn't do that. So 
So he had to have cut and knew there was a camera there. Because either that or that's where the biggest hole is for me. Because I talked about that before. Like, he is not on camera that we know of. Because I guarantee you I'm on camera right now because I'm walking right in front of it. And he is not seen on camera. So where did he go is my biggest thing. The only explanation, if he parked at the CPS spot, is that he walked around the back. But then again, that adds a lot of time. And there's... Who knows if there's a camera back there? I'm not going to walk back there and find out. I'm not, I'm not going to bother those people. Uh, but yeah, well, like, what do you guys think? Because I'm on camera right now. I was on camera for, if I still am, but it's a good 30 or 30 seconds or so that you're in the frame of that of that camera, assuming that it's got a decent angle on it. Uh, and he's walking, and there's houses here, like, no one saw him walking past, like, yeah, I should have done this walk in my video before. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't realize how, how populated this little stretch is. Not that it's vastly populated, but two or three houses, you know. I mean, unless everybody was not home, there was nobody home in any of these houses because the CPS building's behind that train. If you can see that little the train right there, it, it was behind that train. Got seven minutes left before I cut off, so hopefully I can make it. But yeah, like, I don't know. He had to have cut through there, because this isn't a cornfield, so I guess you kind of not easily be seen. But still, that's that's the only thing that makes sense to me. There's no way you just, there's no way you just killed two people. And look how close I am to this house. Like, there's no, yeah, absolutely no way. So, my money was on the cemetery for the longest time. Because that one made the most sense to me. And someone said, I have to read the affidavit again, but I don't think his car was ever caught on camera. Maybe it was, I'll have to reread it. Because if his car was on camera, then it would make sense that he parked at the cemetery. Because you can get in and out in no time like you guys saw my last video like I was I was lollygagging and talking but like if you're if you're dead set on getting out of there you can get out of there in, in two minutes there's an alarm going off weird I don't know if you guys hear that I ain't gonna stick around to find out what that is Anyway, I don't see anybody. Huh. Anywho. Yeah, we're still... So that's, that's two houses. I, I guess it's likely that they weren't home or, or just didn't see him. But yeah, just that's a bold move walking down this street like with in front of these I didn't realize I should have done it before I've, I've never really paid attention so this is the first I'm seeing of how how close he was to these houses because if you one look out the window you can you can probably see my my nose hair so that, that close that's just crazy to me Uh-oh, Hoosiers fans. I'm, I like that. I'm in Purdue territory. They are bold putting it up in Purdue territory. <laughs> I 
it's nice being far because I, I I graduated from IU, so it's pretty cool being a few hours away and seeing seeing somebody representing. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know how long that train's been there. Some pretty detailed graffiti on it. That pumpkin's pretty impressive. But, uh, yes, as you can see, I'm still not where the CPS building was. We'll see. It's not. See, I, I understand now why I never knew where it was. Because it's in such a random spot. Like, I don't know why you would. Why you would put that out here. Like I said in my last video, I was like, that's probably a downtown, uh, that's like a downtown because where I where I'm from, it's it's like on the square, and in the town over, it's also on the square. But out here, it was right over here. It's just around this bend. What's left of it? A lot. I mean, like a like a, a gravel lot. But yeah, that's it right there. That little. these tire tracks are I don't know, right in the middle of the road but as you can see I haven't seen a single car so don't ever let somebody tell you this road's well traveled but yeah he parked right there I'm just gonna zoom in I don't want to walk all the way over there because it's getting cold and I'm running out of time yeah right right there he parked backed in and walked if you guys watched gray hughes video i'll show you where he caught he he saw the three girls or the three juveniles as the affidavit says well, let me zoom out i'm zoomed all in he you go right here and that road noise is going to be annoying i'm going to try to talk over it Walked right through here, because in Gray Hughes' animation of the affidavit, you see the you see Richard Allen's dot, and he cuts through here. Oop. And that's where he that leads right to the trail. The trail goes right back. But yeah, I I don't know. I there's a lot of holes in that little last bit. The camera, him not being like I don't know. I, the houses, he had to have walked around back of that storage facility. I don't know. No use in speculating now. I guess we'll find out eventually. If the details of the trial are made public which I assume they would have to be but I saw a thing where they're talking about having holding everything privately but we'll see how that goes but thank you guys so much for watching thank you for following along um, like I said it'll be a bit before I'm back out here uh, January 13th I think that that uh, that hearing is so but like I said thank you guys so much for the support thank you for your comments uh, i try to read every one of them um but you guys have a merry christmas happy holidays a happy new year if i don't see you before then um but yeah take care guys thank you so much